In this video, we're going to look at the HTML DOM and use it with JavaScript. The Document Object Model, or DOM, acts as a programming interface that allows JavaScript to make changes to the HTML code, turning static websites into dynamic ones. The DOM represents the document as a tree of nodes. Here's a simple HTML document, and this is the DOM. Each element in the HTML code is represented by a node in the DOM. The DOM shows how nodes are nested within other nodes. In this case, for example, nested within the HTML node are the head and body nodes. Nested within the body node is a heading, a paragraph, and a button node. Nested within the paragraph node is a text and a span node. In the DOM, text is also considered a node. Also nested within the span node is another text node. Now let's add some JavaScript to manipulate this document. This function finds the element with an ID equal to header and changes its text. Then it finds the element with a class name of highlight and changes its background color. This function is called when the button is clicked. Let's see it in action. When I click the button, watch the header and the span tag. With the DOM and JavaScript, you can create dynamic and interactive web pages. Now let's move on to something more advanced. We'll create a new paragraph element and insert it into our page. I'll start by removing the onClick event from the button so that I can show you a different method of detecting when a button is clicked. This is the JavaScript code. It starts with an event listener that waits for the document to be fully loaded. This ensures that the JavaScript code only runs after the entire HTML document has been completely parsed and rendered by the browser. As a result, it guarantees that all the DOM elements, like the button in this case, are available for manipulation. Attempting to access elements before the DOM is ready can result in errors because the elements may not exist yet. Here we find the button element, and this is an event listener that waits for the button to be clicked. When it's clicked, a new paragraph element is created, text is added to it, and the background color is set to yellow. Then the new paragraph element is added to the document. Let's try it out. I'll refresh the page first. And there you have it. A new paragraph element is added to our page dynamically, and its background color is set to yellow. If I click the button again, it will repeat. The DOM, along with JavaScript, allows you to create, read, update, and delete elements on your page in real time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.